Hey there everyone, this is Ten, or you might know me from the Nexus as the OG Tennessee. You might also know me from Strange's Streams, in which case you'll just know me as Ten. Today I am here to kind of go over the M-Class modules and how to build M-Class ships. As I created a mod called TN's Class M and Starborn Guardian Shipbuilding, I'm going to explain how to use at least the first part of that, which is the Class M shipbuilding. I will have a part two that goes over Guardian shipbuilding, but that will be a separate video. For now, I am standing here under the shadow of my favorite ship, the rebuilt Razorleaf. This is a ship that encompasses everything from all of my mods. Uh, my all-in-one, my, uh, my class M, Daratech and the patches in here, pretty much everything. And as you can see, this is, this is the biggest boy. This is the biggest boy that I could possibly build and not have my computer melt down. Which, I mean, I came pretty close. Class M ships are going to do two things, at least at this size. They're going to absolutely lag the heck out of you, and they are going to spill out over whatever landing pad they are on. You just have to know that, and accept that, and you'll be fine. Um, I would like to show you this ship inside the ship builder, and show you exactly how I built it and everything, but... That runs at 4 FPS, and I don't think that anybody anywhere on YouTube is going to be satisfied with such low FPS, no matter what I'm showing up. So instead, I do have a separate ship that is smaller, a little bit more manageable for showing off. I'm going to start with that one instead. Either way, the concepts for Class M shipbuilding are the same, regardless of how big it is, as long as you're using the Class M have modules. Now if you just want to build a class M ship that is essentially a normal ship but with a class M reactor you can do that too. There are smaller class M reactors in there that you can use but I'm going to go over all the big boy stuff today. So let's get into it. All right so this is already low enough FPS you may not be able to see the FPS counter that I have up, but it's around 10 FPS running this. So note that if you want to create ships like this, you are going to need to push your processor quite a bit. So this is Colonia Zero, a uh, another ship that I made as just a test to see how well things would work. This one is, it's a lot simpler. It is essentially just these two, these three halves here. And then a cockpit that honestly is made to go on it. This is one of those things where I feel like Class M stuff was most certainly cut content. Because you can see here that this bridge right here is made to perfectly align with this much larger half. But doesn't this isn't normally available in the game. So what did they do? They must have done something in order to... Uh, Set it up. So, how does this work? M-Class Habs, like this one, do not have interior. They obviously had something that they were working on for interiors. I have found the files that show, like, the interior layouts of these things. But they were not finished. They were not furnished. Nothing was done with them. They are not used anywhere in the game. Even the Class M ships that you come into contact with and board don't have actual cabin tiers. They go to a separate cell that is specifically set up for that specific ship. It is pre-built. It is not part of the actual ship builder system here. So what you do instead is you're actually going to build tabs inside of the and this is why, if you see on my mod page, you'll see a specific uh, StarfieldCustom.ini setting that you need to set for this to work. You're going to need to do that. Otherwise, this will not work. Now, this will affect a lot of other things, 
and you'll be able to do crazy stuff like putting halves on top of halves and you maybe don't want to do that but um it is still something that you got to do just for these and that's because these have sort of interior areas but they don't really have interior areas in fact uh first thing to note about the m class halves okay is you will see that for the most part they have lots of these little attachment points here these circular ones you can attach most things to okay um, these are made primarily to attach regular structural parts to or in this case engines or landing gear what they actually connect with are these much larger plus signs right here so you'll see these plus signs on here then you'll see them grab this you will see them here as well uh, these little plus signs right here are what connect the two abs what you need to do is you need to snap them like that and then those plus signs now are sub together so why is all of this important well there's one more uh, there's one more little piece to the snaps that you got to pay attention to. You notice right here, there are no doorways here. There are no doorways here, there are no doorways here. Even though these are all circular, they, do they don't have doorways, but there are doorways here. You can see them on the actual mesh itself. But these are cutaways, and these can become transparent. These are the only places that you can connect halves to. And you'll see here that I have these two here that connect up. These are the only two connection points between this set of modules back here and the this set here. And that's what you need to do is you need to line them up. On both sides, you need to have these doorways. And once you have that, you can get them to snap together. So I'm going to slide it in there. And this is essentially now just going to be a shell over this area that you've created here. Um, hard to see some of it because I've got a lot in here. I'll show you this other side here. So, um, like normal, if you were going to create a, uh, a large ship, you would want to have all of these modules kind of connected together. Um, these are obviously to connect to the cockpit here. And those will all connect normally. So everything here will connect like usual. Uh, though you may want to use uh, certain certain mods in order to create your own doorways. I have here this uh, the mandatory door. This comes from uh, Doorway Placeholder. And that mod allows you to force ways between places and you'll need this in order to do loops and whatnot though you can do it with other types of uh, connection points there are the hope tech little bridges you can use as well either way uh, because these things get very large and very complicated it's going to have a lot of the same risk that you would normally have in making very large uh, chips the only difference, really, is that after you're done, you're going to need to line these up and make sure that there are little points, little, uh, little doorways for everything to go through. If you don't, when you're inside, you will actually see that there is a, uh, there is a mesh there. You'll be able to walk through it, but it will visually be there. It just won't physically stop you. And then when you're done, you will put this back on. This is how you make an M-Class ship. You can do all sorts of things. I do a lot of tossing cargo on the inside in places where I'm not using it for abs. Overall, it works out pretty well. What do I have as an error? Unattached modules. So this is one thing that will probably drive you insane. If you have an unattached module, because this thing is going at such a low FPS, it may be difficult to find, but if you can get it to double click, and look around and see what's not attached, it may not be obvious at first. 
you may have to move along. Oh, that. It was this that I was <laughs> that I was working with. Okay, that works. Anyway, I'm not gonna save this because there's no need for me to save this. But so, now we have this just on the landing pad. As with the other one, it overflows, just in a slightly different way. You can go on inside, and you can move around just like in the other one. We'll go ahead and we'll get to the cockpit from here. You can see this is actually, if I do a quick a collision, you'll actually see that this is where the two M-Class modules, the little halves on the outside, are actually connecting. But, because I have the proper piece here, they're able to open up and there is a doorway in between. You can continue on through and it will give you no issues. Just make sure you connect them up at the right locations. Same thing with the cockpit. It opened up just fine, give me no issues. And then I can pilot this thing. I suggest piloting unless you have uh, mod to change your camera. I would suggest piloting from the actual pilot seat, though. into the engines. Okay. There we go. All right. So, this is a sluggish sort of ship. It doesn't go that fast. It doesn't uh it doesn't exactly um turn easy, but it does come with an absolute the enormous amount of cargo. That's the reason that I created it in the first place. So, this has been a lot of fun. You can see that this is a fully working ship. Uh, I have missiles on here, which kind of come out the bottom. Um, I have a bunch of turrets, so you won't be able to see them just right now. All in all, this is how you make yourself an M-Class ship. I do thank you for uh, coming in and taking a look at this uh, tutorial. If you want to support the mod, it is linked in the description below. I do accept donations through the Nexus. If you want to support us on the channel here, uh, subscribe, like the video. We upload all of our streams onto YouTube from here. Uh, we do all of our actual streaming on Twitch, which will also be in the description. And you can tune in to us if you want to catch us live on there. We usually do our streaming on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I do Starfield streaming on Tuesdays usually, though that will change in the future as different games come out. Uh, myself and Strange both do different games. A lot of them we do together. Some of them we do separately. But until then, I will see you all later. Take care and enjoy making yourself some big, huge